Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Time for your afternoon update brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com, including our live quad cam shot so you can see exactly what's happening at the mountain in real time. For the day on Tuesday, looking like a good day out there. We'll see cloudy skies, so have those uh, those goggles that show some good visibility in the snow. 22 to 26 at the summit. Base temperatures 29 to 33 with a southwest-northwest breeze. Noticeable up towards the top of the mountain. Not too bad down here around the base. We'll see some snow showers as well, hopefully accumulating to an inch or so. Wednesday, we'll start the day with cloudy skies and then some afternoon snow showers as well. 20 to 24 will do it for your summit temperatures. Base temperatures 27 to 31 and a little to no wind out there so that will be great for the day on Wednesday. Thursday partly sunny skies and overnight we should see uh, some snow possibly a little bit of mix in there not too much for accumulation but you can see warming up uh, 36 for your high during the day 26 for your low. Friday chance of snow showers once again great news a high of 33 degrees so comfortable out there for skiing and riding and then the sunshine comes in here for the new year with some uh, cooler temperatures birchwood interiors check them out in village west or online at birchwoodinteriors.com 37 trails of ski and ride on 10 lifts getting you there around 35 of those trails groomed out tonight and packed powder and machine groomed services are waiting for you eight o'clock first thing snubber will get you up to the base lodge skidway and sawduster will move you around the base area and the moose later gets going at 9 a.m 8 30 the double runner chairs get going both of them so that is some great news with uh everyone out here skiing and riding enjoying the holiday break super quad skyline and whiffle tree those three lifts get going at 8 30 as well and at nine o'clock timberline winds and weather permitting but that shouldn't be an issue be sure to stay tuned to our live show 7 30 to 9 a.m on a tuesday morning we'll keep you updated with live reports hallback stomping grounds haywire and lower scoot is where the snowmakers are moving to and terrain parks on spur line upper tote road and boardwalk if you're looking to do some uphill travel uh seven o'clock to 8 30 you can go uh, go up to bullwinkles but that's the highest point you'll get to ram down Wiffle Tree, Lower Cruiser, that's a new one. Slasher, Rollway, Lombard Crosscut, Lower Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner, Narrow Gauge, Spillway and Sluice, as well as Candy Side, Windrow on the west side, Boardwalk, Lower Winter's Way, and the trails all around the base area will all get groomed out tonight. And current conditions at the Outdoor Center. They're open. The retail shop's open. They've got some cross-country skiing as well as snowshoeing, and there's some ice skating on the bog, so go down there and enjoy it. They've got rentals for everything as well, and fat bike rent rentals too. If you're out in the valley on the narrow gauge pathway, most of the single track there has been groomed out with the snow dog, uh, and it's in good shape. We do need a little bit more snow, though, so keep your fingers crossed. Do those snow dances. Tune in to the Mountain Report live shows. We've got them all this week, including a great uh, Watch and Win show happening Tuesday evening, 5.30 to 7 o'clock. And check us out on social media as well as WSKITV.com. And go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to it, and that's where you'll find all of our latest local content.